concerns about kosher law enforcement in Arbaugh. Nearly all of the department's employees got the axe under former Governor Patterson's budget cuts. Our News 12's Stephanie Ramirez has more on what this means for you. Layoffs under Governor Patterson just might make it easier for consumers to get duped into thinking what they're buying is actually kosher. And I'm... Um... Right now, today, the first day that I am unemployed. Andrew Walpin, seven inspectors, and a secretary got the boot on the first, leaving only the director to enforce a state law that fines people for selling fake kosher products. Rabbis working with this Midwood Soup Kitchen say they deal with this every day. If there is no organization that will encompass all these organizations to make sure that they keep the laws and there's no one to carry it out, then there'll be a lot of fraud out there. This affects Jews and non-Jews alike with the majority being non-Jewish. Interestingly, Rabbi Wickler says about 85% of people that buy kosher are not Jewish. The state's answer, a three-point kosher law protection plan, using the state's general food inspectors to ensure that proper disclosures are posted on all retail establishments, develop and implement a training program for food safety inspectors, and continue to maintain the online kosher registry. But some argue that's not enough. It's like me going to inspect an airplane to make sure it's working where I have no clue how an airplane works. Rabbis, several lawmakers, and even general shoppers say they've already teamed up and are fighting to restore the kosher food inspection agency, but they say until then, the only way shoppers can really defend themselves is to check the food for themselves and make sure everything they purchase is properly labeled. Reporting from Mill Basin, Stephanie Ramirez, News 12, Brooklyn. New York City School